Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So, I am gonna be doing a special video today with quite a few new launches because I thought it would be good to combine them all into one video so you can see how they all work together. My first thing that I wanted to talk to you about was Chanel. I have just received this order today. What I picked up was the Le Beige Touche de Ton, so Water Fresh Complexion Touch, and that one is in B50, and I picked up the Le Beige Eau de Blush, Water Fresh Blush in Intense Coral, Deep Apricot, Deep Bronze, these are the three deeper shades and the color that I picked for the foundation was a little bit harder to pick because I wasn't able to go in store. I kind of hazard a guess as to what I think I might be. So I went with B50 and I think this should work. I do have a little bit of a tan. The next three items that I picked up were a new launch and these are from Westman Artillier. These are the Vital Press skincare powders and they are in the color Translucent creme and pink bubble. Now I went with these three because translucent is great, it will look great on all skin tones. Creme because it's closer to my skin tone and when I want just something that's going to look like my skin I can use that. And pink bubble because I do like that brightening effect. So I'm going to talk about these three as well with you today. And then another launch that has just come out is from Sicily and I picked up three of their eyeshadows and these are Ombre Eclat Liquid Eyeshadows and they're long wear liquid eyeshadows and I picked up four, five, and six. It is a coincidence that these are the darker, again, shades from the offering that they have, which is similar to the Chanel blushes. It was just that these looked like they were gonna really show up on my skin tone. One to three look beautiful. I really thought four to six would show up better. So I've picked up these three shades and I can't wait to show you these. And then finally, I wanted to talk to you about Vive. So what I thought I'd do today was to show you the three lip dews that I picked up. I picked up Cherub, Rosa and Pesca and these are the shades. This is the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. I've been waiting for this to launch. It's actually not going to launch in the stores I believe here in the UK. I think until like the 17th of this month. I took a guess but I think I might be okay. I was very excited about this launch because I was told that this is like the Water Fresh Tint review that I did recently. So there's more coverage basically. It's a first of its kind versatile face makeup formula infused with ultra concentrated micro drop pigments, a refreshing lightweight texture and a formula that keeps skin hydrated and protected all throughout the day. Customizable application, precision concealing or a perfect veil of coverage for an incredibly natural flawless finish. Three times more pigment for fuller coverage and a flawless makeup look. So that's in comparison to the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, which I did the review on before. A lightweight gel texture composed of approximately 60% water for an instant splash of freshness. Antioxidant rich active ingredients, including jasmine extract, which protects skin from pollution and other environmental aggressors. A formula enriched with emollients such as tamarind extract, known for its hydrating properties, leaves skin plump and delivers a fresh complexion that appears well well rested. Application can be personalized based on the desired result, but they recommend that you dispense one pump of the new Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch onto the back of the hand and then tap the product using the fingertips to melt the micro droplet pigment. So we're going to give that a go. For pinpoint concealing, apply with the fingertip to areas that require more coverage, such as the eye contour. Use the accompanying brush for precision application and to blend. For a touch of light, dab onto cheekbones, forehead, chin, and the bridge of the nose. And for an even complexion that looks perfectly natural, apply it to the entire face. The Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch can also be worn on hands and decollete. So I am very, very excited about this. This one is 20 mil, so it's not a huge amount of product, but I think that you're not going to require a lot. So let's give it a go. Let's follow the instructions and let's see how the finish looks like. And that's what it looks like inside. And then you get a little accompanying brush. So I'm just going to show you how these little droplets look. Very similar to the Water Fresh Tint. Very, very tiny drops kind of reminds me now as well of the rose ink so i will do a comparison of those two at some point but i think the rose ink is probably similar to the water fresh tint which is lighter let's see how this looks so that's what it looks like when i pump it out they recommend one pump it's saying that it wants me to dab it so we're going to use my finger and we're going to dab it down and let's see how that looks Oh, I can see the pigment coming out now. Thank you. 
So I've gone in with a bigger pump and I think this should be enough for my face. So that's how the colour looks when I use my finger. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to try the brush. So I just wanted to show you how the foundation looks. I'm really impressed. I absolutely love the water fresh tint because it is like you are making your skin look really natural without trying too hard. Sometimes foundations can look really cakey, really strong. I think Chanel have got it right when it comes to the water percentage and the content because I feel as though it makes the skin look really fresh, but also just really natural. And this coverage is very, very nice. I've just got my mirror and I'm just looking in the mirror now and the color match is perfect. I'm so glad that I went with B50 is probably where my skin is sitting at the moment. In terms of the actual look, I think that the coverage is beautiful. It's very natural. I was able to kind of take my brush and just buff out little areas, but I'm really impressed so far. That is the foundation and now we're going to go into the blushes. So we're moving on to the blushes and I picked up three of these because I not tried these before but I was really excited by the choice and the way they look and I thought they would really suit my skin tone. So I've picked up the first one in this which is the colour Intense Coral. Chanel has created the first water fresh blush based on painted micro fluidic technology. It's ultra lightweight moisturising formula composed of 75% water and infused with micro droplets of pigment provides an instant fresh feeling and non-stop comfort. It blends seamlessly with the skin for a sheer weightless finish and delivers a flushed cheek look as if you had spent a day in the great outdoors. A long lasting natural healthy glow, a subtly flushed complexion all day long, four luminous shades, well now there's six actually, ranging from the lightest to the most intense for a custom finish like peach, like pink, warm pink, intense coral. But now we've got even more shades, which I'll show you those later. Dispense a pea size amount of Le Beige Eau de Blush onto the back of your hand. For a healthy glow look, apply to the tops of the cheekbones and tap with the fingertips to even out the color. Lightly blend the edges to create a seamless transition. For extra intensity, add more color towards the center of the face. For a defined look, apply blush lower on the cheeks and blend outward. For more precision, use the touch up face brush. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I might even use the brush that came with the foundation because I think it's just the perfect size. This one has 15 mil of product. So again, not a huge amount, but I don't think you need that much. So this is what the bottle looks like. And I do love this sort of Chanel packaging. So this is the intense coral shade. You can see that it's pretty runny, but also the pigment is moving around. So let's put that on now. When I put my finger on, it starts to dissolve and then the pigment starts to come out. So can you see it's quite strong? So let's see how this looks.
So I just wanted to show you up close how the blush is looking and can you see that glow? It gives you a really lovely glow and it's so natural and I love the fact you can build on the product. I really like that and it is mature skin friendly as well. It doesn't emphasize anything like pores or it just makes the skin look glowy and youthful, which I absolutely love. Oh, I do like this color, it's very pretty. And you can see on my hand, it's very pigmented, it's still there. I've used a lot of the product already. So I thought I'd just show you what intense coral looks like. I am very, very impressed. It packs a punch. I may have used a little bit too much product. In terms of how I could build upon it, I was really, really impressed. And you can really feel that hydration in the blush. So I am very, very happy. So let's move on to the Vive lip product. These come in three colors. So let's open these up. So I've just opened the product up for the lips and you can see that these are the colors and they are very, very pretty. I am going to use this one for this look because it's got that kind of corally feel to it. And I think this one's called Pesca. So we're gonna put Pesca on. The next two I will try with the other two blushes that I've bought from Chanel. So we have the product here. This is the Lip Dew Glossy Lip Oil. So this is six mil of product. That's really, really pretty. The Le Beige Intense Coral Blush is made in France. The Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch is made in France as well. And the lip oil that I'm using now is actually made in Italy. And this has a 12 month shelf life. Lip Dew gives a high beam supreme shine finish, giving the illusion of fuller looking lips, enriched with moisturizing raspberry seed oil extract and vitamin E. It nourishes dry lips whilst the green tea extract soothes and softens your pout. With a subtle comforting vanilla scent worn alone for a lustrous finish or layered over modern matte lipstick for endless combinations, Lip Dew gives a soft and smooth pout. This colour is in the colour Pesca for a peach perfect pout inspired by award-winning sunset blush shade. Okay so we're now moving on to the three eyeshadows and we're going to use one of these eyeshadows with this look. So let's take a look at the three colours. I've got four, five and six. They are stunning, stunning colours. I am so excited to try these on my eyes. So I've just read the shades from the Sicily boxes that I've just opened. This one is coral, this one is bronze, and this one is wild. Today I'm gonna put coral on for this whole coral look. This isn't planned, it was just by accident, but it kind of worked out. Ombre Eclat Liquid is a long lasting liquid eyeshadow. It immediately provides an ultra luminous wash of color while offering a feeling of freshness and lightness. The eyelids are visibly smoothed. Its formula offers absolute comfort all day long and does not settle in the eyelid creases. It dresses the eyes in a halo of light and allows buildable coverage for very light or more intense makeup, depending on the desired results. Its travel friendly packaging and soft precision tip allow for easier and ultra sensory application. The six shades in satiny and sparkling finishes complement one another and can be layered easily for a custom makeup result. Apply the product to the eyelids using the tip and blend with your finger or a blush. Do not wait for the texture to dry before adjusting its effects and work it while it's still wet. Use it alone or layer it with other shades. So I'm gonna use it alone just with this look and we're gonna try and do it as quickly as possible because I don't want it to, to dry too quickly. And let's see how this looks.
So I've just put on the Sicily liquid eyeshadow and I absolutely love it. You have to work with it quite quickly because it dried quite quickly, I'd say, on my hand, even when I put that on my hand. But the actual shadow is very, very pretty. There is a little bit of glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter, you might not like this one. This one's the coral colour. They have different formulas, so maybe the other two might not have the glitter. I really love the finish. It feels really nice on my eyelids and actually it's like a really easy go-to way of putting on eyeshadow without having to faff around with brushes and blending and it creates a really pretty look. There are products out there that are similar to this and you probably have something already that's like this. What springs to mind is probably Lisa Eldridge who bought out the five colours which are beautiful. That's the one that kind of stands out the most. I really love this. Very very pretty, lovely kind of corally look to match my coral lip and the blush which is coral <laughs> and the kind of finished look. It's very very summery. So just to finish off, I just wanted to add a touch of the Westman Atelier powder. Now I'm not a huge powder fan. I know I've bought three. I like to use it sparingly. I don't like to put too much on because I generally only tend to go oily in my T-zone. I don't like to put it on my cheeks because it just makes me look kind of too matte. It doesn't make my skin look kind of glowing. But I'm gonna start off with the Westman Atelier Pink Bubble, and that's just to brighten underneath my eyes. Now, I don't have any concealer on today, but I wanted to see how this looks to just brighten under the eye. So this is what Pink Bubble looks like. So let's see how this looks under the eye. What I love about Westman Atelier as well is you get the mirror in there. I've got my brush, which is the Viva La Gentile brush in number four. And I thought it'd be good because it's just enough to kind of go under the eye. And let's just see whether it adds that brightening effect. So we're gonna go in to the powder. It's so finely milled, I really love that. And we're just gonna tap it in. Very subtle, which I love. What pink generally does, if you're sort of wondering why I've chosen pink, is if you've got that kind of, they call it sallowness in your skin, it helps to kind of brighten your skin and it's like a color corrector. You sometimes have peach, which corrects when you've got like maybe bags under your eyes and it's darker, but this pink also works in a similar way and it helps to kind of brighten and just make your eyes look a little bit more alive. So I really like this. I'm just gonna go in again and I literally have just put it under my eyes. Just to add a little bit of brightness, which I think it's done and it's subtle and well milled. That's what I like about Westman Atelier products. I think that there's a lot of thought that goes into these products because Gucci Westman, who has created this, is a makeup artist. And I think she understands how products should work on the skin for a natural finish. It's very, very pretty. I like that sort of brightness. So the other powder that I picked up was in Creme. Now, this is their more sort of tinted powder. It comes in three colors. And I went with the light medium and I double checked at the Westman Artillery counter and they suggested that someone of my complexion should use light to medium. And I can see why, because I actually went into Selfridges and I saw how medium looked and it was just too dark. So I'll open it up for you. So this is what creme looks like. I really like the yellow undertone here because I think it's gonna really complement my skin. Now what I would do with this is I would put it in the areas where I feel like I would get a bit shiny, which is my T-zone. So I would take the same brush, I would go into this powder. So you can see the powder there. And I'm just gonna go just on the areas where I would probably go a little bit more shiny towards the end of the day. We're just gonna do that. I really love this powder. And I really love this color as well. It's really sort of complimentary and it's something that I feel as though it would really add something but doesn't kind of overpower or look too cakey. It's very natural and I think that's to do with the product being finely milled. 
So this is with the Western Atelier powder in the pink bubble, which was under my eyes. And then I used the color creme as a kind of T-zone situation. I love this powder. Very, very nice. Very, very finely milled and very natural, which is my kind of makeup. I feel like the natural look is my favorite look. I tend to like wearing natural makeup during the day. This is like right up my street. Absolutely love it. So I am back. I've just put on some more of the foundation, which I am loving so much. And we're gonna use the Le Beige Eau de Blush, and this one is in the color Deep Apricot. So this is Deep Apricot. Just a touch more. So this is Deep Apricot and I do like this colour. It's like a kind of flushed look, like when you've gone outside and come back in and it has that really kind of deep but kind of fresh look. I do like this. So this colour is Deep Apricot. I thought it would be nice to pair this one up with is the Lip Dew Glossy Lip Oil in Cherub. So this is Cherub. It's a pretty colour. I didn't really speak to you about the consistency of this. It's got a scent. And it's quite nice, it's like a kind of sweet scent. It's not too strong. It feels a little bit like the Fenty glosses. Similar, doesn't feel sticky and has a nice sort of feel to it. It makes my lips feel quite hydrated. We're gonna to move to the darkest shade of the three from Sicily that I picked up. And this one is called Wild. So this is the color Wild, which is this gorgeous sort of khaki green. That's what Wild looks like. That's a pretty, pretty green. I'm gonna try and just intensify that. I'm gonna go in again. I think you have about five to nine seconds to kind of get it on your eye, which isn't a lot of time, but to be honest, it works so quickly on your lid, you don't really need to be tapping too much on there, but this is the color Wild. So this is the second look, and we're now gonna put on some Westman Atelier powder to finish it off. So now we're just gonna add the translucent powder. You have this lovely pink pouch that it comes in, and obviously the gorgeous, heavy, substantial packaging from Westman Atelier. This is what you're paying for. It's the luxury. So this is a translucent powder and this is white. Always reminds me of the by Terry because of the way that it's white. And I just can't forget that now. I'm gonna use the Westman Atelier mirror. I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm just gonna put the powder on the areas where I am going to probably get more oily, just there. Honestly, it's so fine, the powder. It feels so lovely on and just gives the look a complete finish. Really like it. Now 
So I'm back and we're now on the final look and I've just put on the foundation again. I am in love with this foundation. I wish there was more in it. <laughs> And there isn't a lot of product but what I do see and what I have done tried it three times and I love it so just so you know this is definitely something I would highly recommend I'm going to talk about it at the end anyway but this is ugh, this is how it looks we're now moving on to the final Erda blush water fresh blush and this is in deep bronze and I just loved this sort of color selection I've never used these blushes before so I was very excited this is the final one and this is called deep bronze Oh, this is nice. I love the way when you start mixing the colour, it just comes out. Oh, so nice. It's like a little surprise. <laughs> Gorgeous. This is deep bronze. Oh, I like that colour. Oh, it's so pretty okay so as you can see it is quite a lot but I'm actually going out tonight so I am quite happy that this is quite pigmented I'm just doing a little bit of blending with my cloth just to make it look a little bit less like it's coming down to my lower part of my face oh it's so so pretty so I have my lip dew this one is in the color rosa and I thought this would look really nice with this bronze look so this is the final lip dew from Vive and this is rosa Oh, this might be my favourite out of the three. It's very, very pretty. This is the Sicily Liquid Eyeshadow in the colour Bronze. So that's how it looks. Oh, can't wait to get that one. That's lovely and I'm going to add the powder on but also I'm going to add some mascara. I am loving this. I'm just going to go add some more eyeshadow in. It's just to intensify it. I do really like this. So this is the final look, and this is look three, and I think this may be my favourite look out of the three looks because I am really into this bronze look at the moment because it's summer and I love the kind of combination that I've chosen for the three things I've used on my face. They all complement each other really well. So I'm just going to add the colour creme. So I have just gone off camera and I've added some mascara to my eyes just to complete the look because I am going out tonight and I am really happy that I've already got my makeup on. So let me give you my verdict. I love the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. It is probably going above now the water tint that I thought was amazing. And I never thought I'd say that. The coverage is better 
it definitely gave me more coverage. I wouldn't say it's completely sort of full coverage, it just is more than the water tint, which the water tint is kind of more like a tinted moisturiser. This is sort of in between, I'd say it's medium coverage, but I love it, absolutely love it. I really love the fact that the Water Fresh Complexion Touch is hydrating because my skin is a little bit more mature, it's dry, it really does help me with my skin and doesn't emphasize anything. If you have mature skin, I'd recommend the Chanel range. The Water Tint Blush, I absolutely love. In fact, the color that I thought I'd love, which is the Coral, is beautiful. I think my favorite is the Coral, and then I think the Deep Bronze, which I put on now, is another favorite. And then the Deep Apricot is kind of something that sits in between those two, which I can use more every day, but I love all three that I picked up. When it comes to the Liquid Eyeshadows from Sicily, my favorite is the Bronze, which is what I've got on now, then probably the Coral, and then Wild, which I picked up because I don't have a lot of colors like that, that it's a little bit more intense, a little bit more deeper, and something that I can just put on and not think about. And that's what I feel like these eyeshadows do. You don't have to think about them, you just use your finger and then you put them on. The Westman Atelier powders are exceptional. They are finely milled, beautiful on the skin, and gives a beautiful finish. So I'm glad I picked up those colors. And the Vive glosses, they are beautiful. I think that this color is my favorite, which is Rosa, which is like my lips, but better. I love the formula. The other two colors were beautiful. The coral was lovely. This would be my favorite, which is Rosa. Then I think the coral color and then Cherub. It would be Rosa, Pesca, and then Cherub. I hope you enjoyed this. I really wanted to do something a little bit more different by using all different brands and kind of mixing it up. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your comments. Are you picking these up? Are you thinking of picking these up? I hope this has helped you to make your decision. And please don't forget to use my affiliate links because it really does help my channel and I can keep bringing you content. So if you do want to buy any of these because I suppose inspired by what you've seen, please, please, please use my affiliate links. It would mean so much to me. You don't lose anything. It's just supporting my channel and I can continue bringing you great content. Please don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.